why. Um, because today, all you have to do is just be yourself. But also confident, that's important. And, and interesting, like, like easy to talk to, approachable, but, um, but mostly just be yourself. That's a big mess, number one, be yourself. Be true to yourself. Also though, um, don't worry about whether your hands are gonna get sweaty for no reason, and you can't make it sound no matter what you do, because they're not gonna get sweaty, so I don't even know why you're bringing it up, it's not gonna happen, so I have to do this for yourself, so. <laughs> I'm not even going to worry about it though, because seriously, it is not like, it, it is not going to be like that time when you had the perfect chance to introduce yourself to Zoe Murphy at the jazz band concert last year when you waited afterwards just to talk to her. Oh, and tell her how good she was. And, and you were just going to pretend to be like super casual. Like you didn't even know her name. Like she would introduce herself and you'd be like, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Chloe. You said her name was Chloe. And then she'd be like, no, it's Zoe. I said Zoe. And you'd be like, oh, see, I thought you said Chloe because I don't even, I'm just very busy with other stuff right now is what I mean. <laughs> but then you didn't end up saying anything to her anyway because you were scared that your hands were sweaty, which they weren't that sweaty until you started wondering that they were sweaty, which made them sweaty, so you put them under the hand dryer in the bathroom, but then they were still sweaty, they were just very warm now as well. So, you just decided not to eat last night? Oh, um, I wasn't hungry. You're a senior in high school, and then you need to be able to order dinner for yourself if I'm at work. You can, uh, you can do it all online now, I don't have to talk to anyone on the phone, and you don't like the phone. Okay, but see, that's not true, actually. You have to talk to the other delivery person when they come to the door, and then they have to make change. And you have to stand there when it's silent and they're counting the change. Okay, this is what you're supposed to be working on, Evan, with Dr. Sherman, talking to people, engaging with people, not running away from people. You're right, I'm going to be a lot better. No, I know, I know you are. And that's why I made you an appointment with Dr. Sherman for this afternoon. I'll, uh, I'll pick you up right after school. I already have an appointment next week. And I thought maybe you could use something a little sooner. Have you been writing those letters for once you're gonna hit? The letters to yourself, the pep talks. Dear Evan Hansen, this is gonna be a good day, and here's why. Have you been doing those? I started writing one. I don't finish it, it's cool. Those letters are important. Honey, they're gonna help you build your confidence. Seize the day. I guess. <laughs>
doing the service. <laughs> I know. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. That's really impressive. Even though I was so busy, I still made some great friends. Or, well, acquaintances. More like. Well, um, do you want to make it? I don't know. You're, um, do, do you want to sign my cast? Oh my god, what happened to your arm? Oh, well, I broke it. I was climbing a tree. Oh, and really? I... My grandma broke her hip getting into the bathtub in July. <laughs> that was the beginning of the end, the doctor said. <laughs> <laughs> because then she died. Stop fucking laughing at me! No, I'm not. You think I'm a freak? No, I don't. I'm not the freak. I'm not. I wasn't. You're the fucking freak. Well, I'll talk to you later. Oh, you don't want to sign up. What? What'd you say? I didn't 
disappear tomorrow. Sincerely, your best and most dearest friend, me. When you're falling in a forest and there's no way around, do you ever really cry or do you make a sound? When you're falling in a forest and there's no way around, do you ever really cry or do you make a sound? So, what happened to me in Bermuda? <laughs> oh, great. Go ahead, honey. I'm going as fast as I can. It's not going to sit, is it? to me. These are the words he wanted to share. He was last words. This is what he wanted you to have. I'm sorry, what do you mean last words? Connor, uh, Connor took his own life. He what? 
this is uh, or found he's looking at it to fold it up in his pocket. You can see that he's uh, he wanted to explain it, why he was. I wish everything was different. I wish I were a part of something. I wish what I said mattered. Please stop it, Larry. Oh, but I just, you know, I'm sorry. Um, Connor, Connor didn't write this. What's he saying? Oh, um, Connor didn't. He didn't write this. Well, he's obviously in shock. No, I, I just, he did write it. I'm sorry, but I should probably just, can I, um, can I go now? sex letter that you wrote for yourself? We were in chemistry together, I'm pretty sure. You know you can go to jail if you get caught. But I didn't do anything. He was also, he was in my English class in 10th grade. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, Evan. I think you may have already burned it yourself. Well, isn't that only when you're under oath, like in a courtroom? Well, weren't you under oath? In a way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. He was definitely in my English class. Look, do you want to listen to me or do you want to have another meltdown? The class here in English and you were supposed to give that speech about Daisy Buchanan, but instead you just stood there staring at your note cards going, um, 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 over and over again like you were about to have a brain aneurysm? Well, what do you expect me to do? Just keep lying? Like, I didn't say lie. All you have to do is just nod your head and confirm. Whatever they say about Connor, you just nod your head and you say, yeah, that's true. Don't contradict. Don't make shit up. It's foolproof. Literally nothing I told my parents is true and they have no idea. <laughs> Three days ago, Connor Murphy was here, and now, now he's gone. They were so sad. His parents, had, his mom was just. I've never seen anyone so sad before. Well, good thing you're about to tell her the truth about your sex letter. I'm sure that'll cheer her right up. <laughs> <laughs> if Connor meant something to you, please reach for it. Or private message me if you just want to talk. At times like these, we can all use a friend. Connor wasn't very nice, so that makes sense. It was. It, it was a complicated person. 
person. No, Connor was a bad person. There's a difference. Chloe, please. Don't pretend like you don't agree with you me. You refuse to remember any of the good I things you ever did. What was the good I things? I don't want to have this conversation in front of our guests. What were the good things, Mom? Tell me there were good things. I remember a lot of good things about Connor. <laughs> like what? Um, never mind. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Never mind. Well, you were saying I'm sorry. It doesn't matter, really. We want to hear what you have to say. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Connor is really bringing this school together. It's pretty incredible. People I've like, never talked to before. They want to talk to me now because they know how much Connor meant to me. It's very inspiring. I actually started a blog about him, like a sort of memorial page. Were you friends with Connor too? Acquaintances, but close acquaintances. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I think part of me always knew you, you guys were friends. You did a good job of finding it. I don't know. I can just tell. You're talking to you guys. Oh, um, just Jared. It was Jared. Oh, it seems like you and Jared are spending more time together. Oh, um, it's been a great friend for you. Yeah, really great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You put yourself out there. Thanks. Uh, well, I'm leaving, but I left money for you on the table. Order anything you want, okay? Oh, you're doing tacos tonight, looking at the essay questions. It's Tuesday! Oh my god! Oh, honey, I completely forgot! Ah, oh, shit. That's okay. Hey. You know what? You should, um, uh, you should go ahead and take a look at the questions without me. And then if you have, uh, any ideas, you can email me, and then I can, I can write back with, uh, with any ideas that I have. That's better anyway. And then that way, you really take your time. Oh, yeah, for sure. You do tacos enough at night, Evan. You can uh, do them tomorrow night. How about tomorrow night? I can't tomorrow. I'm, I'm busy. Oh, shit. I'm late. You should go. No, 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 no. Let's take care of It's fine. Time. Evan, I have dinner for myself. <laughs> Awesome. My brother? Definitely. 
Like whenever you have a solo in jazz band, you close your eyes and you get this, you probably don't even know that you're doing this, but you get this like half smile, like you just heard the funniest thing in the world, but it's a secret and you can't tell anybody, but then the way you smile, it's sort of like you're letting us in on the secret too. Um, <laughs>
Haven't you seen the wristbands with Kara's initials on them that Sabrina Patel selling during free period? Or the t-shirts Matt Holter's mom made? What am I gonna do about Zoe? <laughs> Are you kidding? After last night, you can never walk into that house again. Besides, in another few days, this whole Connor thing, it'll be played out anyway. But you just said about the t-shirts and the wristbands. Exactly. We're at the peak, which is why. I gotta move these buttons before the bottom drops out the Connor Murphy memorabilia market because pretty soon there'll be some political tsunami to raise money for, and Connor will be that dead Tuesday no one knows. That's terrible. Yeah, we had this fun. Well, it lasted, right? You got to spend some quality time with your big family. Snuggle with Zoe and Murphy. Okay, okay, that's not why I was doing it. I was trying to help them. I just wanted to help them. Regardless, bro, it's over. A week from now, everybody will have already forgotten about Connor. You'll see. Everybody has forgotten about Connor! A week ago, the whole school was wearing those wristbands and the buttons with his face on them. People were talking to each other that never talked to each other before, and now it's all gone. Completely. You were his best friend. You can't let this happen. I know, but... Maybe you could ask Zoe to do something. Or maybe you guys could do something together. Zoe. Yeah! She's the perfect person to help get people interested again. You guys could write something for the blog. No, no, it's just, I don't know if that is the best way for us to get people to remember. Well, I can guarantee you that if you don't do something, then no one will remember him. Is that what you want? But I just... <sighs> what am I supposed to do? Why don't you talk to Zoe? I can't talk to Zoe. I had to ruin everything with Zoe. Says who? Jared? Why are you even talking to Jared about this? Who else am I supposed to talk to? You can talk to me. Unless you have other options. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Look, Zoe, my parents, they need you. I mean, you are the only person who can make sure that everybody doesn't just Forget me. Oh, right, they already did. After two whole weeks. And once they've forgotten about me, what do you think happens to you? Me. <laughs> Nobody cares about people like us. People like us. Connor Murphy, the kid who threw a printer at Mrs. G in the second grade? Or Evan Hansen, the kid who stood outside a jazz band concert trying to talk to Zoe Murphy, but his hands were too sweaty? <laughs> You know, people like that. Look, guys like you and me, we're just the losers. We keep waiting to be seen, right? I mean, no one seems to care or stops to notice that we're there, so we get lost in the in between. But if you can somehow keep them. It means someone will see that you are there. No one deserves to be forgotten. No one deserves to fade away. No one should come and go and have no one know he was ever real.
Connor. Everybody is important. I am so honored. I would love to be vice president of the Connor Project. <laughs> You're right. We should be co-presidents. Yeah, no, you have to have one for me. And you can be treasurer or secretary. Unfortunately, the co-president's position has already been filled. Well, shit. <laughs>
and faculty, I would, um, I would just like to say a few words to you today about my best friend, Connor Murphy. I'd like to tell you about, about the day that we went to the Old Autumn Smile Apple Orchard. Connor and I, we stood under an oak tree, and Connor said he wondered what the world would look like from all the way up there. So, um, so we decided to find out. Um, we started climbing slowly, one branch at a time. When I finally looked back, we were already 30 feet off the ground. Connor just looked at me and smiled. Um, that way, he always did, and then, um, um, then I fell. And I lay there on the ground. And then, um, good morning, students and faculty. I would, um, um, oh, oh.
I don't think I can live with this anymore. What about my parents? More emails? How can you do no this? No more contract project, no more orchard! After everything that they have done for you, they need you. Need me? For what? To keep lying to them? That lie is the only thing that's keeping them together. That's not true. Oh, really? They seem like a pretty happy family when you met them. I don't want to lie anymore. What about Zoe? Well, Zoe said she wants me. Yeah, yeah, she likes me for who I am. So you happen to mention that everything that you told her, it has all been one big fucking lie, did you? Oh, yeah, that's that one. Right so what if, what if I did tell her the truth? She'll hate you. No, no, maybe she would understand. Maybe everyone would understand. Everyone will hate you. No, if I could just, if I could explain it, you, you know? Go right back to where you started. No friends, no, nobody, to... nothing, alone. I'm ready to be done with it! If you really believe that, why are you standing here talking to yourself? Again, you think you're going to turn around all of a sudden and start telling everybody the truth? You can't even tell yourself the truth. What are you talking about? How'd you break your arm? How'd you break your arm, Evan? I fell. Really? Is that what happened? Yes, I just, I lost my grip and then I fell. Did you fall? You can get rid of me whenever you want. You can get rid of all of it. The Connor Project, the Orchard, the Ben. All of you are going to get left with is you. And the plan for early achievement is picture perfect.
Why? What's the problem? You weren't friends with him? That's not part of the story? I was his only friend, you know that? You can't just make things up! <laughs> no, you need to redo it. You're totally right. What was I thinking? Making things up in a completely fabricated email exchange that never happened. Just don't change the story, please, okay? Alright, but what we're thinking we're gonna have to wait till London because I plan all weekend with my camp friends. Of course, I like to call them my real friends. Yeah, I think we're good on this for now. We're kind of focusing on bigger stuff, the orchard, things like that. Yeah, well, I can do more with the Kickstarter. I mean, I am the treasurer. Yeah, I think Alana and I are pretty much settled on that. I will let you know if I think of anything, though. <laughs> Got it. Hey, but always happy your cast is gone. Yeah. Talk about killing the mood, right? Having to see your brother's name written on your boyfriend's arm all the time. I'm not her. I don't know what we are. Well, don't even worry about it, bro. The only thing you should be worried about right now is building that orchard for Connor. If there's one thing we know about Connor. The guy loved trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, you love trees. That's weird. Isn't that weird? Oh, yeah, it's, oh, oh, nothing much. I feel like every time I come into your room, you shut your computer screen. Not really. I don't know what you do on there that you don't want me to see. I was doing homework. Huh? Do you have a minute? Um, actually, I was just about to go to Jared's. Did you go to Jared's last night? Yeah, we're, we're doing a Spanish project together. We are going to be working late again, though, so I will probably just stay over. I saw the strangest thing on Facebook today. Oh, really? It's a video. The, um, something called the um, Connor Project. Have you heard of that? Was their website and it said that you're the president. <laughs> <laughs> Co-president? Well, this was, was a, a video of you doing a speech about that boy, Connor Murphy, that they had climbed a tree together. I don't you told me you didn't know him, that boy. I know. And then in your speech, you said it was your best friend. Well, because it wasn't true. When I said I didn't know him.
Fire 9016, look at that. Wow, you, you get the right people to come to an auction like this? Baseball fans? I bet you could raise a thousand bucks for the orchard, easily. No, yeah, it is a great idea. I'm definitely gonna talk to Alana about it. I swear, I have a cow ripkin in here somewhere. This is very generous of you to donate all of this stuff. <laughs> Mom says you start your show in five minutes with or without you. Tell her I'm busy. What? Your dad had a really good idea for the orchard to do an auction. Evan said, let me go through my collection here. Dad, are you torturing him? What? Evan, is he torturing you? No. Uh, you can tell him he's being boring and you want to leave. He won't be upset. He can leave whenever he wants. I don't want to leave. Evan, do you want to leave? Do you want to leave? I don't want to leave. <laughs> okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Women. <laughs>
I guess now is as good a time as any, Cynthia, to you for me. Well, Zoe happened to mention to us the other day that Evan was having some difficulty in terms of the financial abilities of college. Evan will either um, 
uh, get a scholarship or, or he will go to a, a, a community college. That's the, that's the best thing for us to do. I don't want Evan to get the idea that it's okay to rely on other people for favors. Not a favor. Well, but as his mother, I need to set that example for him that he can't expect things from strangers. Murphy is a corporate lawyer who only cares 
Hello? Who is it? Who is it? Tell me. What's the number? It's blocked. Who cares? What's your basic? It doesn't matter. Did they threaten you? It doesn't matter, Dad. That's it. I'm calling the police. Right now, maybe the best thing to do is just wait and see if this blows over. That's always your solution, isn't it? Do nothing. Is that what I said? Can you guys just stop? Wait and see. Let's just wait and see. Right, Larry? What are the police going to do? It's the internet. They're going to arrest the internet? I had to beg you every step of okay. the way. I had to plead with you for Hold a minute to be for real. You went marching from one miracle cure to the next. Okay. Because all he that needed was, was another $20,000 a weekend yoga retreat. Then what was your father thinking about everything that I did? Putting him on a program and sticking to it. No, you wanted to punish him. Listen to your daughter. You treated him like a criminal. Do you think you were any better? You let him do whatever he wanted. Thank you. When he threatened to kill himself the first time, do you remember what you said? Oh, Christ he sake. just wants attention. I'm not going to sit here defending myself. He's getting better. Ask him. No, 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 no. I did it. everything that he no. wanted. And then was oh, in denial of what was happening right in front of him. Let me read what he said. I wish that everything was different. No, I did the best I could. I tried to help him the only way I knew how. And if that's not good enough. He was trying to be better. He was trying. And he was failing.
was just a sad invention. It wasn't real, I know. But we were happy. I guess I couldn't let that go. I guess I couldn't give that up. I guess I wanted to believe. Cause if I just believe, then I don't have to speak. No, I'd rather pretend I'm something better than these broken parts. Pretend I'm something other than this mess that I am. Cause then I don't have to look at it. And no one gets to look at it. No, no one can really to do <laughs> if, if you knew who I am just how broken I am <laughs> I already know you and I love you
I'm so sorry. Okay, I can promise you. Someday all of this will soon all feel a very long time ago. I don't know. Your dad.
Maybe this time he won't let go. He'll just hold on. He'll keep going. He'll keep going until he sees the sun. <laughs> 